So we made it to Portland for our baby moon. There's a restaurant inside. So we're gonna go take a look uh, to see what repurposing of an old building looks like. Or like a flat churro. But it's pretty nostalgic. And it's very good. It's good. Oh, hoppy. It makes me hoppy. Good morning everyone. So it's our third full day here in Oregon and we just drove to the coast. How was the coast drive for for the driver here? It was good. I had to stop to pee once into a hole in the ground in a rest stop. But other than by that, a trailhead. and that wasn't even me. I didn't even have to stop to pee. So I'm very proud of myself. It took about an hour and a half to get here from the Portland airport. Um, but overall, yeah, it's a really pretty drive. Um, there's, a couple, there's a little bit of a windy road, I would say, for a good, what, 45 minutes, right? Do you say? But other than that, it's it's beautiful. First stop here on the coast is Tillamook Creamery. And if you've watched previous videos before, I, you know how much I love the Tillamook brand. And I enjoy Tillamook cheese and the ice cream we have in our fri freezer at home. And so we're just really excited. Last time I came here was... I think when I graduated college, I was just, just telling Reed. So this first time here. That was here, a long time ago. That Sorry, was like that was a bit cheesy. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, we will see you inside. This is sharp cheddar. Yeah, white sharp cheddar. Mm. Very pointy. Sharp. It's good. For some reason, it tastes a little different from like when we buy this from Costco or Whole Foods. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's fresh. Well, I spent less time out in the world, like getting to its location more time in your mouth it's good I now have um, greater respect for where our cheese comes from that's because this could have been sitting for 60 days up to five years you don't know we got some orange cream ice cream with vanilla we also got cheese curds but we're still waiting on them so they're not they're not out yet and some signature water ice cream too is that it's always really creamy like even when you buy it in the store I always feel like it's quality ice cream and Reed got this flavor because um, they said that it's unique to I guess this um, this factory or this where, where we are right now so I don't think they sell the orange flavor in stores but Tillamook ice cream is the best very good. Very good. Mm, it's like an orange dreamsicle. Oh, it's so good. It's not going to be good for my Asian metabolism. Try some cheese curd. This is a little spicy, this one. Mm, very good. So we made it to Cannon Beach about an hour um, from Tillamook and it was a nice drive, very scenic on the way here, got to see the Pacific Ocean and we're here now. It's a really beautiful quaint town and just read up on some information but Goonies was filmed here 
Point Break and also Twilight. So um, it's a very well-known area, well-known beach, and we're gonna check it out. We're trying to find the rock. Do you know what the rock's called? Cannon Beach Rock. Haystack Rock. Oh, Haystack Rock. We're walking up a hill. How's the baby? Getting rounder, heavier. And uh, we're out of breath. Okay, we made it to Cannon Beach and behind me you can see Haystack Rock. And famously known for that ending scene in Goonies where the pirate ship is uh, floating out of the cave past Haystack Rock and the kids are cheering because they didn't lose their home. Uh, that's what this is. It's now like a national wildlife preserve, I think. And I read online that when it's low tide, you can actually go out there and take a look at the tide pools. But that's what everybody comes here to Cannon Beach for. I, I, I think I saw over 750,000 people a year come here just to come and see this beach where Go Goonies was filmed. There's also a scene in the beginning of the movie where um, they're racing on the beach. That's happening here because this is actually uh, one of the widest known beaches on this side of the uh, US continent. And then behind us where we uh, were earlier is Ecola Beach and that's where they filmed Point Break at uh, scenes from Twilight. So it's kind of neat. This is a very cool historic uh, beach for movie buffs. And we're gonna fly our drone and see how close we can get to Haystack Rock. We are in Seaside, which is about 15 minutes north of Cannon Beach. And it's just a different kind of town. It's a little bit more lively, more um, upbeat. What would you say? How would you describe this town? Well, we haven't had a chance to really walk through yet, but it's it's different. It's a little bit more touristy. There are a lot more hotels here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people on the beach. We'll show you. having the cakes at Finn's Fish House. So we both got the soup, salad, and bread combo. Except I got Dungeness crab in my clam chowder and a Caesar salad. Delicious. Good morning everyone. So it's our last full day here in Portland and for breakfast this morning, we went to Spielman Bagels and Coffee on 23rd Street. It was very delicious. Um, I've never been there before, and overall, I just like walking on that street. Though I've been on that street, and yeah, it was great. I had a blueberry bagel. Reed had everything bagel with chives, cream cheese, and it was delicious. Now, we are heading on the Portland Aerial Tram, which is, which is supposedly going to give us a nice view of the city. This train is connected to the Oregon Health Sciences and University building. Um, I think it's for medical workers to get to the upper campus. And um, you see a lot of people that are patients and people that work at the hospital that are gonna take this. For um, non-employees, it is $5.65 round trip. And uh, we're gonna go and take a round trip up and back and see the sites of Portland.
we're at a Capital One Cafe, which is Capital One Bank and a coffee cafe at the same time. So you can come in here and do your banking, talk to a banker, and you can also get a coffee, sit down, enjoy the free Wi-Fi, and do some work. It's kind of a cool concept. It's very empty right now. Looks like they have co-working spaces too, like little conference rooms, and I think a whole upstairs area as well. It's right in the middle of downtown Portland. We're at Potbelly. I got the steakhouse beef sandwich. I got a chicken salad sandwich with provolone. Ooh, it looks good. Fun fact, Jenny, my sister, used to work at a Pot Bellies. And she lived in Chicago in college. But we don't have this in Hawaii, so it's good that we're eating here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, good. Very tasty. We're just leaving downtown Portland and kind of by Pioneer Square area and we found a pot bellies so we ate lunch there we don't have that in Hawaii um, and then also we found a Muji's and Muji's is like it's a Japanese Muji's. it's Muji sorry Muji it's a Japanese a Muji's. <laughs> it's a Japanese store and they sell like paper to home goods to everything in between and the cool thing was I we saw like a self or the what is it called like an AI an AI barista I've never seen that before so that is really cool um, and then we also bought a new suitcase to take home because in Portland you just buy a lot of things now nah. but I think also we were looking for our suitcases anyway because our suitcase actually broke on the way here and so we figured we may as well invest in another one while we're here. So we bought one of the hard case suitcases. I think we were also in the area where there was a lot of riots that happened in 2020 and 2021. And so you definitely could see the impact of the riots just um, from vacant buildings to graffiti to just the fact that there's actually not that many people in downtown Portland anymore. Like it just seems a little bit bare. That's not my favorite area, the downtown area. And it just seemed like uh, a lot of the business people that probably worked in that area and frequented that area are no longer there. We are now heading to University of Portland, my alma mater, uh, just to walk around and to see the school. We'll video a little bit of that and show you what UP looks like if you've never been or you don't know. Portland where I went to school and it's a very beautiful campus this was my freshman year dorm Kenna Hall and it was a boys and girls dorm I don't know if it still is but it was a like girls lived on one floor boys lived on the other floor and I lived here just freshman year of college so now this is the quad of UP that's where cafeteria is so we would eat um, our meals there and then this is Franz Hall classes in there and I was just telling you Reed that all of these trees in the spring um, are all cherry blossom trees so they all turn pink um, at a time and it's just really beautiful even in the fall too like everything turns color and it's just so beautiful when the seasons change but it's one thing I remember about this area in particular And this is Mango Hunt Center. This is the performing arts building where I spent a lot of my time considering I have a performing arts or a drama theater degree. And so definitely brings back lots of memories. I worked in the box office here. I had classes here. I did shows here. And so it was a very fun and enjoyable experience for sure. And the theater is right next to the basketball arena it is and the soccer field and the soccer field yeah. which daughter if you're watching that's where you want to be wow one but of those two Portland UP is actually known for our soccer team so um, it's we are very competitive in division one soccer 
So this was my second dorm, sophomore year of college, Mailing. This is an all girls dorm. And I lived here with my really good friends, Jenna, Kristen, and Leslie. And yeah, we had a good time. Sophomore year it was a lot of fun. The last two years of college, my friends and I, we moved into a house right here, 5227. This is where we lived with, I lived with five other girls and it was just a lot of fun. And we had, we made a lot of really good memories here. Definitely fun times for sure. Okay, we are in front of the Beauchamp, Beauchamp Recreation and Wellness Center. And this building wasn't here when I was in school back in 2004 to 2007, three to 2007. But uh, my friends and I that lived in a house together and that spent all of our time together, we did buy a legacy brick, which I just found out by asking one of my friends and we found it. So um, that's pretty cool that our names are here and that we are um, officially a part of the campus forever, which is pretty cool. But this is their wellness center now and it looks so nice inside. There's a rock climbing wall and just from the outside, it looks really, really nice. But I wish I could have gone to school with this facility. Life of pie that we got. Kale and arugula salad, some cheesy ravioli, and a pizza that's about to come. How's the food so far? It's really good. I'd say it's on par with Ken's Artisan Bakery. We'll see though. We well, haven't tried to see it. Yet. Okay. So we got a margarita pizza and it was on it was um, it's happy hour so it was on sale for yeah. seven dollars. It's not as cheesy as the other one. The crust is also very delicious. It's thin crust. Um, very similar to the other pizza, the same style. The very thin crust made from the brick oven. Um, just had some basil and some mozzarella. The crust is delicious. Very good. So we just finished at Life of Pi on Northwest 23rd Street and we were originally supposed to go to Grassa or Grassa. An Italian restaurant. An Italian restaurant like that made their own pasta and everything but they were closed. So that's why we had pizza for another night here in Portland. But it was very good. Definitely recommended. Um, what did you think? It was good. Happy hour, pizza, margarita pizza is only $7. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, people, what are we seeing? Pretty Woman in Portland, Broadway in the PDX. Good morning, everyone. It's our last actually well we're going home today from our baby moon and just wanted to close out the vlog last night pretty woman we didn't really um give a review or anything but i thought it was a good musical definitely resembles the movie costumes and, and lines and everything um music what did you think of the, what did you think of the music movie was better movie was better <laughs> Uh, the music was it was all right but i the, the cast itself they had lots of energy and um lots of fun on stage so that was really nice to see and we got to see adam pascal the original um roger from rent for the first time live so i thought that was pretty cool so if you do have a chance to see pretty woman if it's coming into your area the musical um you know definitely it's a fun musical um energetic and yeah lots of nostalgic memories because of the movie but anyway other than that i hope you enjoyed watching our vlog um you, you, you want to say anything else no we had a good trip thanks for coming along and we'll hopefully get to travel again soon but we'll see you guys in the next one bye this is my 33 week bump oh it's getting quite large i'm wearing my compression socks for the way home 
and they've actually made my feet feel really really good so I would recommend them if you do have if you're pregnant or if you need extra circulation feet this is it